Hello and welcome to this short video about how to measure the real performance in a mobile network. I am Anz Biller and I am working as Technology Marketing Manager at Rodon Schwarz with focus on mobile network testing. Why the topic is important? Capacity expansion is a must for mobile network operators. We all know the exploding data demand in mobile networks. Um, and the OSS systems, the operator operation support systems, they give us certainly an indication about the cell load, normally as percentage value, but they don't give any, any um, clear indications about the throughput and the remaining capacity at certain locations in the cells, in the networks. And this is what we would like to measure, the user perceived capacity. Uh, in mobile network testing, we are distinguishing between different test case classes and scopes. So we see in, you see in blue here the pure mobile network operator network. So we have the base stations and the uh, packet core and some very close servers that are fully under control of the mobile network operator. And concerning test cases, we have here a ping test, HTTP, FTP cases, testes, tests, capacity tests, iperf and so on. Um, the green shows now uh, the, the MNO core services and the own applications. So we have, of course, clients on the user device, software clients, and we have, of course, own servers on uh, the mobile network operator, under the mobile network operator control. This is circuit switched voice, SMS, MMS in the past. We have Volti, uh, and we have even increased uh, enhanced voice services nowadays. And this is all under the mobile network operator, operator control. In the meantime, we have also these over the top these third-party applications, yeah? um, where we have um, software clients, uh, applications on the user device, on the smartphone, and we have, of course, the servers, the server infrastructures um, for Skype, YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever you can imagine over the top services here, applications. And these are completely out of the mobile network operator control. The data certainly flows over the mobile network operator networks, but um, the service control is completely uh, on the third party. Today I want to talk about the network performance test and this is belongs to the blue angle here and it just is testing the pure network uh, performance of the mobile network operator. If we want to verify capacity en enhancements in mobile network operators, we need to measure the situ situation before, so the true network performance perceived by end users before the capacity enhancement, and we need to measure the true network performance after the capacity enhancement. So then we can compare whether the capacity enhancement has been successful or not. A net network performance should be measured in a reliable way from user's perspective, because this is really what finally the user will experience. What is network performance? Network performance is more or less capacity. What is the remaining data throughput at given locations that I can get from the network, from the cell? And the second point is coverage. What is the minimum connectivity? Are there any coverage holes and so on? So there are some do's, do, do's and don'ts. Um, on the do side, we of course need to do reliable and reproducible measurements. And this is part of the DNA of Rodon Schwartz. So we need to do uh, the tests as close to real world as possible. So we need to reuse the smartphones and the internal antennas of smartphones and we need to use TCP as the most prominent data protocol. The test cases should be very simple but they should be really fully configurable and they should work for all radio access technologies without any preconditions. On the don't side it's uh, very important we need to take into account that we are measuring in a running network, in a live network. So we don't need to load the network extensively. So this we call it intrusiveness should be limited. We need to avoid that we overheat the test equipment. We know that smartphones are very sensitive against heat yeah? and if you, if you are overheating a smartphone then the data performance of this phone breaks down uh, dramatically. And we need to only measure the mobile network and we need to avoid measuring bottlenecks out of the network like connectivity to third party servers and so on. The network performance test is uh, measured or is, is integrated in the, into our Qualipoc Android software uh, running on the smartphone and this is part of uh, all our measurement equipment here. Test solutions, we have the Freerider 3 which is a backpack solution. We have uh, the Qualibog Android integrated into the Benchmarker 2. 
uh, where you see the TCM, the test device containment models that offer us a temperature controlled environment of the smartphones or for the smartphones. And we have uh, Qualipoc Android integrated into the Benchmarker 2 Go, which is a benchmarking system that can travel as, travel as normal luggage in, in aircrafts. So, and network performance test in, is integrated in all these test solutions. What is the definition uh, of the network performance test? We are, have a, a test here with uh, twofold. We have a capacity peak tests, which means we are stacking more, um, one or more parallel TCP connections on top of each other to be able to grab all the remaining resources in the mobile network, in the running mobile network. And we have in blue color here the continuous TCP load floor that measures the connectivity of the mobile network. In the lower part graph, you see um, a typical example of a live network. We see here the capacity peak results, the TCP ramp up, uh, throughput ramp up is, is uh, shown as well here. So we are measuring, we, we are seeing different levels of the capacity peaks and these different levels uh, result from different position in the cell, center of the cell or the cell edge different network loads in the network at the current point in time, different technologies, even whether we have LTE or wideband CDMA, for example, um, all channel conditions like fading and so on. And you see, of course, uh, also outages. If uh, the TCP load floor is, is not served uh, properly, you see here network outages as well. The next screenshot shows you uh, really an example of uh, the NQDI, our post-processing tool. And uh, you see here the different peaks and every peak, uh, the capacity peak consists of uh, 10 one second intervals. Uh, and we are counting basically the transmitted uh, bytes in this one second intervals. You see that uh, the, the capacity peaks are pretty stable here. So I assume that this was a very static test here with uh, not much movement. What is very important to see is that the first interval, first one second interval always is uh, much lower than the second one. And uh, you see on, on top of that, uh, there is a, a yellow color indicating that LTE carrier aggregation has been switched on by, by starting this capacity peak. That means due to our network performance test, we even could trigger the network to switch on the second carrier for carrier aggregation. This is very important. So um, whatever the network gives us, we are consuming this data and we are measuring the remaining capacity at this position where the user is currently testing. Shortly after the peak, the second carrier is switched off again. So this works pretty much uh, in this, in this uh, mobile network testing. You also see, <laughs> you cannot really see the green color of the load floor because this was only uh, configured to one megabit per second. And this is a straight line here. Um, on the bottom of the screen, but you show in the, in the example here that we have 100% full connectivity um, for, for this uh, TCP load floor. And this is what we call really the true view of your network. We are measuring what the remaining capacity in the running network and we are measuring the full connectivity here. So Evaluation, finally, uh, we achieve uh, the capacity test. Well, so we have a, a, a feasible approximation of the long-term capacity here. And we uh, can detect coverage holes or limited connectivity. So the main two points, capacity and coverage, yes, we measure this. Um, but we have some advantages over other um, measurement or other speed tests uh, in, in the market. So we have a defined and configurable intrusiveness. Remember, we are measuring in the live running network and we need to limit this network load due to our test as much as possible. And we can really define that, how big it is. We are independent of the technology, may it be LTE, LTE carrier aggregation, HSPA, Edge, whatever. Our test is completely independent of the technology. We are avoiding overheating the test equipment, the smartphone, and so we can, um, we can achieve a reliable measurement here. If you want to, to test your competitors' networks, uh, benchmarking, of course, this lowers as well the cost because uh, normally you have to buy SIM cards, data packages for testing your competitors' networks. And if you are limiting this consumed data and this intrusiveness, of course, we are lowering the cost as well. And we are measuring the pure network performance of the mobile network operator. And this is completely independent of third-party servers. So network performance test allows you to get a true view of your network. Mm -hmm.